just going up and up and up. Good afternoon, everybody. Savon and I are actually in Colorado Springs right now. The night before my first ultra marathon, I'm gonna be doing the Pikes Peak 50K Ultra tomorrow, and she's actually gonna be running the 20K. It's always fun to do a race where we can kind of both travel to and go to and uh, both have a fun time racing. We never really travel to Colorado Springs, and I know that the trail running around here is just epic. It's so fun that a lot of people say it's just like a place you have to come to and trail run and hike. So we thought this would be a good kind of excuse to come down here and see a bunch of the terrain down here as much as we can in one single go. So we actually just got our bibs and race gear at the Colorado Running Company, um, just a few miles from our hotel actually a little bit ago. The store had a little bit of a line going in, but it wasn't too packed. So we really just got in, got out, got some cool swag. This is actually gonna be my longest race I think I've ever done. I've never done anything over a full trail marathon. It's gonna be really fun to see how it feels, how it goes. And uh, just so beautiful out here in the mountains that I think it's gonna be just a great time all around. Of course, Vaughn and I call it a night though. We gotta take advantage of one thing that every hotel should have, and that's hot tub. So we're gonna soak up and enjoy, relax. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. So Vaughn and I are just warming up for our race right now. For all distances today, it starts at the Bear Creek Recreation Area. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. It's supposed to get a little hotter later on, but for right now, it's absolutely perfect for a race start. 50K starts at 6.30, and then Savan's 20K starts about a half hour after that, but so pumped for the day. Let's go explore some mountains. Starting to get a little bit out of the valley. So these views right now, so gorgeous. Just a quiet meadow. Beautiful place to trail run. How much vert we have to do is actually a pretty fast start. A lot of rolling hills and a couple good downhills, but I don't know. Seems like we're gonna be out going up pretty soon. Finally hit some shade at mile two. Don't think it's gonna last too long though, but it feels so good out right now. I think by 9 a.m. it's gonna be about 80 degrees. Right now, perfect. All right gang, we're just getting out of the valley, running up these canes. And so beautiful up here, just a bunch of buffed out trails, wide, beautiful little river flowing through, beautiful rock peaks all around you, and you can see the sunrise kind of coming through the mountains right now, but just getting absolutely lucky with how much shade we have in here, which I don't know how much longer it's gonna last, but right now, absolutely loving these trails.
7.6 miles in. First aid station coming up. Just gonna grab some water, maybe a snack, and then keep whatever fluids I have in my bottle right now. Yeah, those are definitely one of those guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Good job, bro. Thanks, guys. That first section was actually pretty fast. Not a gradual uphill, but that single track we just went through was just cruising, so hopefully I don't feel that later in my legs, but I know I will. Grabbed a couple sports beans, some electrolytes, water. Let's get back at it. Just got through the third aid station. Refilled up on all my water and scratch, electrolytes. Feel a little heavier, that's all right. I didn't see her, but that last aid station was also the 20K turnaround. I didn't see her, but hopefully my wife is having as much fun as I am, enjoying these trails and having a day. over that 16 mile marker so a little bit over halfway I think we did half the vert as of mile 15 but since then we've done nothing but tick up and up and up and up but uh, still beautiful out so gorgeous views all around just being in these woods and for how hot the day has been or supposedly is it's really nice to have this shaded area to run in. I was actually kind of thinking we were going to be hiking and running in just exposed above tree line area and it's been so nice to just run through these trees and have some like running rivers to go next to. It's been really cool but I'm ready for some downhills. Can I help you fill anything? Uh, water in this one. You got it, dude. Then I'll give, I'll give the other one if you want. <laughs> water. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Hey, not a problem, man. We'll catch you. <laughs> I bet you'll beat me down there. Oh, I don't know, man. Let's go. <laughs> just popped out of that aid station right there. Once again, awesome volunteers. Just a smile on their face, puts a smile on my face. Now we're back on the trail on the 50K course, heading up to Mount Rosa, which is the high point of this whole trail. So it's gonna be nice just to be able to get up here, knock this peak off, and then hopefully enjoy the downhill. Legs are a little trashed, but love in every minute. Some views. Right. Top of Mount Rosa. Woo. Highest point of the trail. Freaking gorgeous views around here. Yeah, right. Gorgeous. Gonna take a second up here and take it all in. 
Yeah, gang. Oh yeah, dang, you can see Pike's Peak in the distance. So cool. All right, guys, just got done with Mount Rosa, highest point on the course. Just absolutely beautiful views all around 360, and you can even see a great view of Pike's Peak when you're at the top. So nice, and another great thing about being up there too is from here and down, we're gonna be turning and burning because I think it's all downhill from here, or at least hopefully. Besides the downhills, the other thing that's making me want to finish this thing more than anything right now too is yesterday my wife told me at dinner that she promised me gelato or ice cream at the end of this run. So right now, the next, I don't know, 11 miles, that's where we're going off of right now. That's what's fueling the rest of this run. I want that ice cream, damn it. All right, guys, so the last couple downhills, as far as the last maybe two and a half, three miles, have just been Scramble City. I mean, these downhills right now are just so fast, but there's so much scrambling to do because of all this loose rock. But the good news is I just went to that last aid station and I still feel like they're totally messing with me right now. But as I was leaving, they told me I was in 15th place which, like you guys know, this is my first ultra, so I'm not trying to get ahead of myself or think that that's exactly what's gonna happen, but I'm so ecstatic that, you know, hopefully I'm putting together a good race so far, but we're only two thirds of the way done. So we got a lot more digging to do, a lot more trail to finish until we get to that finish line. Loving every minute of it, just hoping it's more downhills and uphills. All right, gang, just think I made it through the last aid station at the spot where it's the 20K turnaround point. So I'm finally back there. I think I'm still sitting in 15th right now. Buddy of mine, actually, that we've been running together pretty much this whole race is like maybe a quarter mile up the road for me, but I just cannot do these uphills right now, so. Hoping that the downhill's coming a little bit and uh, got a little less than 10K to go. But it's been an awesome race. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. See you at the finish line. Just so happened to come out for finishing time. Let's go get ourselves a medal, you guys. Let's go. Appreciate you. Thank all you guys. You did awesome. High fives all around. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for putting this on. It means a lot. All right guys, well Savannah and I are just wrapping up today's race. After I got done, I just kind of marinated in uh, the pergola where they had some food and drinks. And now we're just going back to the car. But I told the lady that right when I saw her, first thing I did, kissed her. Second thing I did, told her I want ice cream. So before we head out to uh, Colorado Springs and back to Arvada to our beautiful little pup, we're gonna stop at an ice cream shop really quick. And I don't care if I have no appetite whatsoever, I'm getting ice cream. First 50K went off without a hitch. So fun. And also I want to say congratulations to the wife who did the 20K and absolutely crushed it. So proud of her. It's fun. Thank you guys so, so much again for watching. See you in a boot. See you guys in the next one. Best day ever.